Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I am now answering question number two from the Pure Mathematics P1 um, International A Level at Excel June 2022 paper. This question is about a triangle ABC, and they've given us some information here that the length AB is 21 centimeters, the length BC is 13 centimeters, the angle BAC is 25 degrees. And the angle ACB is X degrees. We've got to first use the sine rule to find the value of sine X, giving your answer to four decimal places. We don't find the angle X, we find the value of the sine of the angle. Okay, so we want to make a little um, sketch here of this triangle. So we have AB equals 21 centimeters, BC equals 13 centimeters, and BAC equals 25 degrees, and the angle ACB is X degrees. So let's have a look how we can do this. So what I'll do is I'll first draw a line, and I'll call this AB. Okay. So let's say this is AB. Now they've told us BAC is 25 degrees, and BC is uh, 13 centimeters. So BAC is 25 degrees. So we're not going to make an accurate diagram, but I know that BAC is a fixed angle which is you know some something like this now that's um bc is it says it's sorry we don't know how yeah ab is 21 centimeters ab is 21 centimeters now we don't know how long ac is it's not mentioned but bc is 13 centimeters so this is a type of triangle actually that could have a couple of different shapes it could be something like this or it could be something like this, okay? Because um, the length of AC is not mentioned, but we know that BC is 13 centimeters. So if I draw what I have here, this is 25 degrees, BAC. AB is 21 centimeters. And this is one possible position for C, and this is another possible position for C. So this could be 13 centimeters, this could be 13 centimeters. So there's two possible ways this triangle can look, and this is uh, typically in such questions, all right? There's two possible um, kind of uh, shapes that this triangle can have, given this information. They've said ACB is X, so X could either be this angle, or it could be this angle here, that's ACB. ACB. So those are the two possible values for X here. All right. So let me call that X and X dash, the different values. But the sine of X should be the same in either case, as we will see. So if we consider the triangle ACB, you'll see that we can use the sine rule to find this because we have pairs of opposites. We know this pair here of opposites, the angle and the side opposite the angle. And here we've got to find the angle, but we know the side opposite it. So we can use a sine rule. I can say the sine of angle X over the length opposite it is equal to the sine of 25 divided by the angle opposite it. Uh, sorry, sine of 25 divided by the side opposite, sorry. Okay, so that will help us find the sine of X, which we have to find. They didn't say find angle X, they said in part A find what the sine of x is equal to 2. Now, whether I choose this triangle or the other possible way the triangle looks, I'll get the same value for the sine of x. The sine of x here will be a sine of x over 21 divided by the sine of 25 over 13. So it's the same exact equation we'll be led to. So we can say that the sine of angle x is equal to 21 times sine of 25 over 13. Okay, and that will give us the value of the sine of x, which they told us to round to four decimal places. So we simply now take the calculator and make sure that we are in degree mode because we're dealing with degrees here. Okay, right now we are in degree mode, which is fine. Uh, and we just say that um, we've got 21 times the sine of 25 divided by 13. And that gives us our answer 0 0.682691, 0 0.682691.
which we have to round, as they say, 682, 691, yes, it continues to four decimal places. So you've got one, two, three, four. So that's going to be 0 0.6827. That's to four decimal places. That's the value of sine x, the value of the sine of angle x. Okay, that's what they are asking us to find for part A. They didn't say find the angle x. They said find the sine of angle x. All right, now, part B. And now for part B, it says given also that AB is the longest side of the triangle, find the value of x, giving your answer to two decimal places. Now, if AB is the longest side of the triangle, if AB is the longest side of the triangle, then what it would be is um, C would be in this place here. Because always opposite the longest side of the triangle, you have the largest value of, the, the largest angle is always opposite the longest side. So, you know, if AB is going to be the longest side, then of course C must be here such that this angle is obtuse and the other two angles are acute as you can see from this right so if this was the place that c is then this angle here would be bigger than this angle and ac would therefore be the longest side so if this value of if the angle x is the obtuse angle here it's going to cause ab to be the longest side so as we know from the sine curve there are two possible values between 0 and 180 for um, an angle to have a certain sine ratio. All right. So between 0 and 180, the sine curve looks something like this. It's in 0 and 180. And the calculator, if I put inverse sine of 0 0.6827, if I put the inverse sine of this, the calculator is going to give me a value which is somewhere over here. It's going to give me the acute angle. But there is another angle which shares the same sine ratio as this, which is obtuse. Okay, and that is the angle that we're looking for, for x to be. We want x to be the bigger angle, so that opposite the bigger angle, you get the longest side, Okay, which would be AB. If this is, if, if this is an obtuse angle, as the angle there is, then this will be long, this will be AB would be the longest side, as they have stated here. All right, so that's very important for us to realize. So if I put inverse sine of 0 0.6827, it's going to give me an answer which is acute. The calculator will only ever give me the acute angle. It's going to give me this angle over here, which I've called x dash. Okay, it's going to give me this angle there. And I don't want x dash. Okay, this is angle a c dash b where... Um, the C is going to be the acute angle. I want it to be the obtuse angle such that the side opposite is going to be bigger. All right? So if I take this value that we got before and I press inverse sine of that last answer, okay, that's going to give me an angle which is 43.054 degrees. So X dash is um, 43.054. 43.054. That's X dash degrees but what we want is x we want the larger value of x so we can say x therefore is going to be 180 take away 43.054 okay that's the value of x okay which is what we have to find so we take this and we do 180 subtract this answer and it goes 136.94 Five, seven. That's 136.9457, 136.9457 degrees. Yep. Yeah. And we have to give our answer to two decimal places. Okay, normally it's one decimal place for an angle, but here they want it to two decimal places, so it's 136.95 um, degrees. Okay, that's the value of angle X which is what we have to find in this particular question. All right, so that concludes this question. So it's a very typical type of question actually now, especially in the new P1, where you get trigonometry, where you have these two cases, where the sine of an angle 
gives you a particular ratio, and the calculator gives you the, the acute angle, but what they're asking for is actually the obtuse angle. Okay, so you have to be very um, careful about, you know, realizing that there is another angle that shares the same sine ratio as this, but the calculator will only give you the principal solution. Okay, so that's very, very important for us to understand. This is a very typical question now that comes up in the new P1 um, specification. You find this every every year question that tests this particular understanding of these two angles which share the same sine ratio. All right, so keep a lookout for that. So that concludes this question number two. Other questions from this particular paper, the link for that uh, playlist will be found in the uh, area somewhere over here at the end of the video. Questions about trigonometry from P1 can be found in the playlist that should appear in this region over here at the end of the video. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Others, other units and um, IGCSE work can be found in the description um, underneath the video. You'll find links to that there. Um, you might be interested in that. Thank you for watching and see you soon.